Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. Last episode uh, we ended up uh, finishing one storyline that uh, ended with the uh, land uh, falling into second dark age. Let's hope we don't do that the again. Clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, maybe a temple had risen <clears throat> out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden. I'm thinking there. of uh, going after an Iblis it Stone a this time. Artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. <laughs> Maybe I actually want to see to that it. happening this uh, to take its power too. without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Lapino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? And looks like every path has some uh, new things uh, for us. So let's just uh, go after Iblis Stone. Find the temple. The rebellion was out of time and Reynard needed a game changer. A mysterious temple had risen out of the desert. The Emperor has sent his uh, ravens to search for the Iblis Stone. The ancient artifact may contain power to bring down the Empire. The island was windswept <laughs> desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. It would whisper promises in his ear, offer him power for blood. But this time, Bernardo was sure he could master it. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in the buried temple, another ancient item that was only resurfacing now, drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals, I'm uh, actually wanting to see, um, I'm really curious what kind of uh, storyline we would have if uh, we actually went and uh, let that stone corrupt us. I'm sure it's in a wrong path uh, to take, but uh, yet I'm uh, very curious about that. Curious, yeah, curious, not... Uh, what I first said. Ooh, oh, I can God make something. Swell with that jewel. Ah. It. Actually, no, it's just these games. Hmm. Yeah. So, time to head into that uh, temple elevator. I wonder, uh, will we have uh, more? Here? Last time, well, I wonder if we face more ravens this time sword. heading down. But let's see. So far, so good. Well, that uh, raven fell too uh, far. So do, so do you. Actually, 
neither one of them fell off, but it was almost. Ravens were already here, cawing in frustration. <laughs> they were still searching for a way in. Good. And he had Over this way. No new skills. And more ravens. Hello. There was this one. Oh, there's two of them now. Get back here. I don't want you to stay and keep the uh, other ravens healthy. Ow, that hurt. It was good to practice your moves, Cortinado. There we go. And there's that level up. I'll be waiting for next altar, not going to go back and level up there just for this. But I will be opening that uh, doorway. Correct sword. And let's see what's inside here. I wonder what happens if I go that way. I'm wondering that myself too, so let's find out. Little bit of extra health there. Ah, new scroll. Find the stone. You have been chosen in this critical mission for your ability to follow orders to the letter without question. Do not believe uh, the naysayers. Your score in the intelligence test. Your score in the intelligence test is only proof that you are better geared than anyone else to follow orders. Take pride in knowing that I, your emperor, have handpicked uh, you for you for this mission. Follow the instructions to the letter. Always travel in pairs. Do not look at the engravings in the wall. Do not lose the hermetic box. When you find the stone, immediately place it in the box and seal the box. If you hear voice in your head, ignore it. Remember the temple is haunted. Obviously, this is an old temple dedicated to an old evil god. There were blood sacrifices. Of course it would be haunted. Ignore the voice in your head. Remember, ghosts cannot uh, hurt you, but they will try to confuse you. When you hear a voice, take the drowsy pill. If you meet another soldier with the stone and it is not in the hematic uh, box, immediately spray them uh, with drowsy gas. Find the box. Find the stone, but in, but in the box, seal the box, and most important of all, find the stone. Well, Emperor seems to want that stone quite badly. Too bad I'm here stopping that. Creating employment for. Truly, he was a job creator. Time to time this correctly. And let's open this and get that chest, and then continue that way. There we go. And uh, carefully. What else could you hook? There we go. I for a moment I thought that was another uh, another doorway with void one. That was way too easy. More ravens. Ah, that hurt. Well, better to heal up then. That went quite badly, considering I got hit several times there. Let's do this again sometime. Oh, there is uh, that uh, workshop area right there. So far I'm liking this. Quite a lot. So anything inside here. 
New game. Elemental resistance level 2. Okay. But let's see what uh, sword we can make next. Void or Winter Thorn. Others I have already fully upgraded. Hmm. Let's upgrade uh, Winter Thorn. Wow. The sword felt even colder. And uh, I just need those uh, ores uh, for this void plate now. Let's, uh, yeah, get rid of that. There had and to be some time to continue to forward. Use the stone. It was old, wasn't it? People are so much cleverer now. And Renato was pretty sure he was cleverer than most people. Oh yes, but... Uh... You have to consider you're being played by me, who wants to see you corrupted this uh, playthrough. Hmm. How's this ultimate sword through? Kill en any enemy in single strike. Auto activates when uh, reaching Kerta in certain uh, combo threshold. This definitely could be useful. But what about this? Hmm. Nah, let's go with uh, just this uh, ultimate sword. Well, he'd always wanted to do that. Let's see how this goes. Then. Yes. Wow! You're not going to take me so easily. That went well. Oh! And that the whole time. No, not me. Well, I got hit by that. My own vault. Let's open this. And we should uh, soon the reach Ravens that stone. Could not get past this point. Obviously, the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. And I got enough of ores now. Well, not enough, but uh, plenty of uh, from to that. I still need uh, 90 more of them for that upgrade. There was an inscription on the platform. Balaleka lessons, with an address. Mm, okay. That certainly was a bit random. I'm not. I'm not going to bother with these uh, extra measures. Uh, this is uh, just a timing part. And here's that stone. It was a stone of the purest blackness. It reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. I can't you. I see. Who said that? You already said that before. It was the stone. <laughs> Eager, thirsty. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Oh yes, was the and I'm curious to see what the, that witch. will turn into. But they had been close once, and he had a sneaking suspicion the gem would try to control him. Why oh yes, capture the core of Sky Ripper instead. We already was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent emperor to power his greatest weapon. What's the core? <laughs> the stone anxiously. But even though Renato knew how Wait, what? the gem was, he had a clever plan for dealing with it. Oh, this is a completely new one. Hmm. I kind of want to try this one. Just to see where this storyline would go, but on the other hand... 
like I said a few videos back, this lock here just kind of makes me want to see that bad line instead of this other one here, which yeah, I'm going with this one, even though this doesn't necessarily unlock the next route. So let's just see what this bad way will tell us. A clever plan to use the game. Table stone. It promised great power, but Reynardo knew that its power came at cost. He had thought of clever way to have its power without its evil. But Reynardo's clever plans did have a tendency to backfire. The gem could give Let's great see how this power, goes. but it was evil. But Renardo had a plan. He would divide the stone into the power half and the evil half. He sought out the sage. Yeah, Calibans. I don't think that's going to oh, work. You need a mirror of splitting. Wait, what? <laughs> well, that was uh, fast. I can make one. Calaveras set up various shiny things. And soon Renato was setting the stone down in the middle of Calaveras' lab. There was a flash, and now Renato was looking at himself. Except with a mustache, <laughs> and a goatee, and darker hair. There were hey, two that looks silly stones. like that. One light, and one dark. Renato took the light one. He felt a rush of great power. Now I could defeat the Emperor. Wait a minute. Unfortunately, he couldn't think of any way to use it without hurting someone. And that wouldn't be nice. Give me that. Oh. Said his evil looking twin. <laughs> and he drew his sword. He only got it halfway out of the scabbard when he fainted from the effort. Obviously, neither weak, evil Renardo nor <laughs> was any threat to the Empire. After the Emperor's victory, they were exhibited in a museum until time ended, which was soon after. He had tried to okay. paid the price for it. <laughs> well, that the storyline ended quickly. Every child could sing verses about the Sky River, but ancient codices. Oh come on, we have to do this. All the way from that here. Souls, a ruby that drank blood. Ah. A jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis stone? Well, I think Long I'll be... in the buried temple. I'll uh, have to see if I'll... Uh, only resurfacing now. Use any part of uh, the this... Uh, by the or just uh, jump straight into... Finding that Iblis stone again. It was a stone of the purest blackness. It reflected no light. And uh, void this time, solid. let's go after uh, Zenobia. Nervous, he picked it up. Who said that? It was the stone. Eager. Thirsty. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once, and he had a sneaking suspicion the gem would try to control him. Why oh, of not course. capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. It's the core, said the stone anxiously. But even though Renato knew how evil the gem was, <laughs> he had a clever plan for dealing with it. An interesting end to the storyline. Blood and death for Iblis. The Iblis stone. It promised great power in exchange for the blood of Zenobia, who was once close to Renato. But she was also... The Emperor's only daughter and greatest general. If it meant uh, gaining enough power to turn the tide of the war and even defeat the Emperor, it might be worth uh, a sacrifice. Why was he listening to a talking rock? 
Ah, but the rock had a point. If the stone could truly turn him into a powerful warrior, he could defeat the Emperor with the very weapon the wicked old toad had sought for himself. To be a hero, you had to sacrifice old friends sometimes, especially when they've become enemies. I'm not so sure that's the correct attitude there, but let's see where this goes anyway. As he placed the impossibly black crystal in his gauntlet, Renata had a sudden vision. Charred fields covered in dead ravens below a black sun. Was it the time of the lost gods before the transcendent emperor? Was it the future? Feliz. It whispered. The power. He could feel the stone's hunger for souls. Its thirst for blood. All right, I get it. This was going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. It will end badly, I'm sure of it. Oh, that explosion. Come on, let me move. Was that supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay, I'll be right back uh, once I solve this uh, why I can't move here. And welcome back. I had to restart this level uh, to get uh, this uh, part uh, done. For some reason, uh, because I got stuck by those explosions, I couldn't move. You never knew where the road would take you, thought Renato. A little more. And there's those eye things again. Down you go. Oh, getting two at the same time. Three almost at the same time. When I build my castle, Lord Renato, all my gates are going to open with buttons. And all the leaves will drop rocks in your head. <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, hello, Zenobia. Zenobia was waiting for Renato. She was alone, confident as always. Fire danced at the tips of her claws. Are you here to surrender? She seemed as cocksure as he felt. But she didn't know he had the stone. And I've missed you too, love. He chuckled. She spotted the stone <laughs> and bolted without another word. Caesar knows what's going on here. People had laughed at the government workbench placement program. But... You can see the benefits everywhere. <laughs> Let's check out this pathway before going after Zenobia for sure. And I could see that the scroll there. That was way too easy. So what the uh, treasures? Just energy. Only energy there. Dear Zenobia, as you read this letter, you are locked in your chambers, ready to spend your last night before... Well, you know. I will not apologize. I know you are too proud to forgive me. I also know you want to resist reading through. You are a cat, as much as I have tried to educate you like a proper toad. I swear to you, and you have uh, to believe me, that I did not plan all of this uh, when I adopted you. You have always been my special little kitten. 
That is why I am writing this now, weeks in advance. I know I will not have uh, the heart to do it uh, the night of uh, the sacrifice. If I think of you as my daughter then I may change my mind. You must think I am selfish, and yes, I am selfish. Sadly, I am a selfish, sad little toad that is afraid to die. But what I am doing will ultimately serve the greater good. I want the power, I want it all, and so I will keep my sub subjects content. Peace for eternity, even if you hate me now, you can still respect that. You have to. It is uh, the only way I can forgive myself for doing this to you. I will miss you for eternity. Tomorrow, try not to make a scene. Everyone will be watching. Still with love, father. Hmm. So, Emperor was uh, going to use this uh, evil stone uh, anyway on Xenopia. And she found out. I really should be more care careful with those. The ravens on Zenobia's island were no match for Renardo. They screamed as the stones sucked out their souls. And with each death, he felt stronger. Take the power, the stone told him. Hello, Zenopia. Finally, Renato caught up to her. He had never seen her scared before. At school, she'd been the determined, brave one. Now her eyes were wide, frightened. He didn't like seeing her this way. Kill her, whispered the stone. You cannot win your rebellion without it. Please. No, said Zenopia. Not that way. Oh, they had been so close once. Could he really feed her soul to his demonic gem? But if he spared her, he would not get the full power of the stone. Oh, how could he be the hero he wanted to be? And with this uh, difficult choice, I will be cutting this episode off. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.